Hey guys, this is Art from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today we're going to talk about Contact Form 7 for WordPress and CSS. Now I'm sure that you use the plugin Contact Form 7 and then you end up with a contact form that looks like this one. Perhaps you created a new form to collect your emails and it looks like this one. The one at the bottom here. So what about if you want to change it? And let's go back to one of the plugins I go here. Let's say I'm going to enable my CS here, modification for this contact mail. Let's refresh it. And let's say you want from this to this. How would you go about it? It's very simple. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the CSS here, modification. And if I go to contact form, newsletter, edit, this is the modification I have done inside the um, form. What i done, I created a div class newsletter and the ID for each field. And this is the reason why you got two columns and the bottom on the same line. To style it, I have used the free plugin called Yellow Pencil. And I'm sure I done the, um, in the previous, I done a free tutorial. It's a free plugin for WordPress, where you, all you gotta do is just click on the field you want. For example, I go to border, change the gray board, uh, border to a different color, for example, let's make it blue. Here we go. If you're not happy to have the border all the way around, it's just one at the bottom, say two pixels at the bottom. What you're going to do is go to the bottom, make it two pixels. I mean, the bottom, not top, bottom. And on each one of them, I'm going to say zero, zero. And the left also zero. And there we go. It doesn't work. Yes, it does work. It's just me that uh, didn't save that. So I went to the top right and left. There we go. Now we got the blue at the bottom. To make it work, all you gotta do go to CSS editor, copy your code. Go back to the, let's say, the custom code, contact form, for example, that I created previously. Paste it, update it. And now, even though I'm going to delete this, when I'm going to refresh it from this, is going to get the full one, right? By going back again, enable it, refresh, and now you get the bottom line blue. Again, you can do a lot of things. You can uh, have the inside, the filling. Let me show you as well. Uh, let's go back to the page. Again, to the yellow pencil. I'm going to make it yellow with the... Actually, let's make it... Uh, blue go to the background the background crawler uh, let's go this one here uh, let's uh, make it more or less let's go back to the board radius we got top left top right, bottom right, and bottom left. So I'm gonna make a funky one, like this. Let's put it the other way around, like this. On the top right, so I'm gonna make a little bit, I don't like it pointy, I like it like that. Say six. 
six. Let's say I'm happy with it. I'm also happy with this. Um, if I go to text, I'm going to move the indent. What is the intent? 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 There we go. Intent is here. There we go. Once I'm happy, back to the code. Copy. So the contact form again. I don't know why I didn't like it. Actually, I'm telling you what, I'm going to replace this one with the new code. There we go. And I'm going to update it. Go to the page again. And I'm going to view it. And as you can see now, we got the blue background and the border again. We didn't change the border. Uh, but what we can do, this is the background color, as you can see. We can change also the color of the border if we needed to. And that can be done again by going back to the yellow pencil. Click on this one here. I go to the border. And we got all of it. I'm going to remove that. Or we can change it and put the same color, for example. There we go. Just in case I want the border, it doesn't matter how big is the border, but you understand the situation there. Once I'm happy, go back here. I can copy the lot if I wanted to, or just go to the border color. All right. Let me copy the lot. I'm going to leave it. And if I go this, as you can see, your name, input, text there. So you don't really need that to do it again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste this here. So at the end, I'm going to delete this, update, and there we go. Now we got the new field the way we want to style it. Now to style it like this, as I earlier on said, it, I got to wrap it into the div class. I'm using newsletter and for each field I'm using a different ID so if I go back to the CSS I go to CF7 newsletter that I created myself by going to add the CSS code and here you got the entire code now this code, without this code, now if I go back here and I disable it, when I refresh the page, that will automatically go back to the um, default. Now how do you do it in one line? It's very simple. Now if you think the entire wrap is 100% and we're going to use it three, technically two fields and a button, if I say 40, 40, and 20, that will be 40%, 40%, 80, plus 20%. Now let's go back to the code so you can actually see that. I'm going to enable it. I'm going to edit. Now I don't know the right amount that I put in. Actually, I put 33% here. I put 33% for the uh, email. And I put 33% for the send. Even though I have the... Uh, what I've done, I changed the, the size in pixels. So that's what I've done. I, I left it the pixels. Now if I go, uh, let me do this a second. I 
And if I go back on this one here, and I say the size, we got, as you can see, the size is the standard from the contact form 7. But if I want to change the size, all right, 278, all I got to do is copy this one here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change that. I'm going to leave it, refresh it. I want to make sure that it's back to normal, all right? And I am in the newsletter, and uh, wait a minute. And I'm going to paste this code here. Now again, I can actually have this one, the width, if I copy that, if I don't want that much of a, you know, of a problem, I'm going to do this, as I've done before, the width, so I don't have to use the lot, yeah? And there we go. I'm going to update. Once that's been done, I'm going to refresh it, and now we should have bigger, as you can see, button. And this is how you style CF7, or Contact Form 7, in WordPress using a free plugin called Yellow Pencil. You can actually style anything you really want. Go back to plugins. And this is the one I'm using. All right, it's from West Thames. Okay, it's a yellow pencil. It's also Pro. I think the Pro version can be bought on um, Code Canyon. I'm not 100% sure though. But this is the free version. That's all I really use. And I use the and the other one is the custom CSS and JS. Here we go. Here it's from Silky Press. Okay, this is a total free uh, plugin. Also, I don't know if you know what, you can actually use advanced CFDB. Sometimes you don't know where your uh, contact form um, submission they go. Now you can actually download a free plugin called advanced DB. At the moment, there is no submission. But if I go back here, for example, and I'm going to submit one. Let's say I say L. Let's say I make it Halle. There we go. If I go back here and I refresh, that will be the newsletter. And now I can see even the IP and everything. Logically, you won't see the IP because I'm going to hide it. Even though for the time you watch the video, the IP will be different because I am on a dynamic one. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, and I'll see you next time.